Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and this is going to be another moving vlog. Somewhat of a moving vlog. So currently, I'm sitting downstairs in my living room and I am putting together, well, Mommy, opening. Do you need donuts? Yes. That can never be great. I mean, I need donuts. Because you can't find them. Yes. I told her she can have some donuts. It's about to be noon, by the way. We all woke up pretty late. Well, Mia didn't wake up late. She never wakes up late. Hold on. Huh? Oh, yeah? I was turning into TT. You are. What? Okay. What was I saying? All right, so I'm in a process of, oh, sorry, babe. go sit over there. <sighs> I'm in the process of unpacking these little storage bins here, and I have just one more of these to open. I have two more of these small ones here to open, and they're just these little, oh, man. they're just these little storage bins that I got from Walmart to put into the closets and stuff like that. So I can have a little bit more organization so it can look a little bit more clean and organized and y'all I won't even lie I have been okay so one thing I hate and one thing I'm guilty of doing is when I move into a new place I want everything to be done ready and situated immediately like I don't I hate the pro okay I don't hate the process of putting a place together but when I am very busy and I already got a lot on my plate, I hate the process of having to, you know, get situated, you know? So to elaborate just a little bit, I have to put this place together. I need to turn it into a home. Why? Because I want it to be comfortable for my kids. I want them to have a sense of security everywhere we go. Because being in the military, you move around a lot. In the past five years I've been in, I've actually moved around a lot. I want to say since Mia has been born, she has moved one, two, three. She's about to be four and she has moved a total of five times in her little life. So we've been moving around a lot. It's, we've, we've, it's just been a lot. So I've learned that when I get to a place, no matter how long I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna make it as comfortable as possible. But when you're a single parent and you're in charge of everything, it's kind of hard. So getting my son enrolled in school, making sure we have an apartment to live in, making sure I'm getting all the stuff for the apartment. I'm still in the process of getting ready for work. My first day of work officially is going to be Monday. So that's in a few days. It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's in like two days. So I'm in a process of doing that and I'm in a process of unpacking. It's just a lot. Not to mention, hold on, back, not to mention school. And this semester I'm actually taking, it's the summer semester, but I'm basically taking a full, more than a full course load because I'm taking three classes this semester. So it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. And putting apartment together, putting an apartment together is something that I'm just like, do I really want to do this? So I've been running myself crazy trying to like put everything together at one time. Like I'm jumping from bedroom to bedroom to kitchen to bathrooms. Because again, this place, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, it's a lot, okay? So I decided to just step back, breathe, and I'm coming up with a plan. And so I think this lower level is what I'm going to work on first. Um, and then move upstairs. I mean, of course, I'm going to put things together every so often upstairs because that is where they have to sleep and everything else. So I'm going to have to be getting that together. But as far as my focus and what I'm trying to get together first, it's downstairs. So starting with organization and stuff like that, that's why I ended up getting this stuff for the kitchen pantry. And I'm still not done with the kitchen pantry because we still got grocery shopping and stuff like that to do but it looks a little bit more organized. Y'all should have saw it before, okay? I had everything sitting here on this table. What is happening? Oh, you wanna unmute it? 
You can't hear it? Okay, I'm about to unmute it. But yeah, so it was way not organized at first. So now it looks a little bit better and there's still a few things in there that that I want to buy. Um, let me open this. Let some light in here. Or let more light in here. But um, yeah, so there's still some storage stuff that I wanna get and I'm starting off with the storage and stuff like that. That way when I am buying stuff and I'm putting stuff away, everything stays neat, everything is staying organized. So starting with these, I won't lie, I'm not 100% sure what I'm about to do with these just yet. I'm about to test them out in um, this closet in the hallway and then the closet in the powder room right here. What? Something from Halloween. Something for Halloween. It's not Halloween yet. But, um, but yeah, so starting downstairs, starting in the main living area is my goal. Like all of this stuff in here, I need to reconfigure it because I think I want this TV over on this wall just to save a little bit of space. I want to turn the couch a little bit. It's going to be cute. I just know it's going to be cute. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer to put this place together. Um, a little longer than I thought, but it's fine because I'm not as stressed out as I was over the past few days trying to figure out how I'm about to do everything literally at one time. Y'all, in my mind, for some reason, I thought within a week's time within 10 days time i was going to have everything put together i don't know why i thought that and then on top of that now that my furniture is completely broken and i have to buy new bedroom sets and stuff like that because the moving people broke my stuff there was no way there was no way i was going to have this all put together um but yeah welcome to the vlog so the very empty powder room this is the one that's right off the front door so the front door powder room and um yeah, it is definitely a what do you what do you want to call it? A blank canvas. So what I think I'm gonna do is get some photos or something to put along this wall, and then I'm gonna get one of those stands to kind of put over the toilet just to have a little bit of extra storage. Now I'm not 100% sure where I want it to sit. I don't know if I want it to sit on the side of the toilet because it will fit, or if I want it to go over the toilet, but that's the plan for now anyway. I don't know what color scheme or anything. I just know we definitely need a little bit more storage out here in this area. So, yeah. Now for this area here, and I'm gonna set this on a toilet. Cause I just wanna see what these things are gonna look like in here. Okay, so let's see. Ugh, I need to clean Sam's litter box. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this isn't gonna fit there. It's gonna be here. So. So I put these up here, but I don't think I really need them up there. They don't fit in these. Oh, these are too close together, so those are too big to fit on the bottom racks here. So, one. maybe I'm just gonna have to put them in like, I wonder if they fit on the floor. They don't even fit, look at this. <laughs> so they don't fit on the floor here. Nope, they don't fit here. Here, either. they don't fit. <laughs> okay, so. Even if I were to lay it down, it don't even fit. So yeah, those are too big. Let me set these right here for a second. I seriously don't remember. I definitely need to find something different for this litter situation. I don't remember her filling up this litter box this quick. Or has it been a few days? Oh, 
Toxos Plasmosis is real, guys. Make sure you wash your hands after you clean the litter box. Okay, so the next possibility is going to be putting these up here. And so, um, this closet is going to be used for um, the vacuum cleaner, broom, all that stuff. It's going to sit down here. And up here is where I'm going to have like extra like pillows and um, blankets and stuff like that for downstairs so maybe hold on I feel like I don't know why do I feel like that's still huh what do you say outside okay um I don't know. I don't like it. I want the front of this to show. I like this, but it's hanging off. I don't think it's a big deal, but <laughs> Okay, let me just Let me put the other one up here. So the small ones look, those are, I think the small ones would be okay in here. I got one. I think that looks okay. It's almost a perfect um, size to fit right there. So these small ones are going to look nice. Um, I just put some toilet paper in that one. Hold on. And I wanted to use the tall ones to put the paper towel rolls in, but I might have to just come up with something else to do with that. But Yes, so I think I'm going to end up getting more of these to put in here for other little things. So I think I found... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so I think I found the perfect place to put at least two of these things. And that's right down here. And so I'm going to be using one for our little tees because we love these little twisted tea things down here right now we got the blueberry and we got the peach i really like the orange as well but this time we just got these they have a few more that we're going to try but so far we like these a lot they did not i don't know maybe i just didn't pay attention but they did not have those in texas and then i'm using this one over here for my sodas yes i like drinking soda i have the lemonade ginger ale we have the taishan treats fruit punch a throwback for us my grandma used to always get those from Hy-Vee because I'm from Iowa. We Our grocery store there is called Hy-Vee. She used to always get those when we barbecue and stuff like that. Angel's V8s that I'm pretty sure that she's not going to drink. And then I found this melon Mountain Dew. That was actually really good. And so we have only one more of those left. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do to organize the waters, but... The waters need to be organized as well i like flavored water i don't know about anybody else i just prefer to drink something that got some flavor to it angel likes regular water and her waters are almost all gone but i got a bunch of flavored waters i found these as well these splash and this is pineapple mango oh jeez. yeah it's pineapple mango and that one's pretty good too but yeah so now i just have to try to make all this look good until i find some actual organization for it so i got the waters and stuff set up and i already don't like it so i need to find something immediately to put them in do something with i don't know but i definitely don't like it just sitting there it's it's not going it's just not it's not going over here my energy drink so i'm gonna have to find something else so the bad habit i picked up from the army is drinking energy drinks i never really drink energy drinks 
before I got in the army for the first like I don't know three four years guys comment down below and let me know what is your bad habit that you picked up from the army mine is drinking energy drinks and not just any energy drinks i don't just be drinking energy drinks but red bull before i got in the army really wasn't into energy drinks never drank them the first three four years in the army never drank them and over the past i want to say starting when i got to texas is when I started drinking energy drinks and that's because I discovered the new little additions that Red Bull came out with and I tried the peach one. The can was just so, so tempting, so inviting. And so I tried it, instantly fell in love. I love the peach edition of the Red Bull and I was at Walmart a few days ago and I was looking for this peach Red Bull. When I, you know, you know in Walmart how they have the the registers lined up and how they have their freezers sometimes or like some of them may have gatorades other have like the little starbucks drinks other ones have energy drinks i'm literally walking down every last one looking for this peach uh red bull looking for this peach red bull and i could not find it until i got to the very last one but they had it was like the mini size one and i'm like okay whatever it was only one i got it and i'm and i told one of the employees because he was looking at me like i'm crazy because i kind of had to go underneath this thing to get it because that part of the store was closed for whatever reason i was going to get my energy drink okay we was gonna fight about it so i told him i'm like i'm just i just had to get this i'm like i just look for it everywhere this is the last one in the store i had to get it he's like that's exactly how i am but my favorite one is this one and he walked over to his, his little workstation and he picked up the coconut edition one so this is hold on can you see that so this is the coconut edition one and when i say i am in love i try i'm like when he told me about it i'm looking at it and i'm like i don't know coconut and berry okay we gonna see and he's like no it's like really good it's really fruity i'm like oh, okay so i'm gonna try it i got a little one and i've honestly been buying this one ever since it's so good i wonder now that i'm thinking i hope i got one getting cold in a fridge right now wait a second uh, i don't oh but this is another good one the watermelon edition <laughs> y'all i'm an energy drinker drink i'm an energy drink drinker now <laughs> so yeah comment down below and let me know what is the bad habit that the army taught you energy drinks i really like having this patio door open because of the breeze it lets in completely forgot there's such thing as a screen is this broken no i should have thought about this because now there's flies everywhere in here <laughs> just woke up from a nap actually I didn't just wake up I woke up like probably an hour ago and I just been laying here we're watching gumball I got a Mia right here because she is always where I am and she just says she wants McDonald's Vu, what do you want from McDonald's a toy chicken nugget and fries yeah. and what else and chocolate milk yeah. so she wants chicken nuggets a toy fries a, and chocolate milk yeah and I low-key want some nuggets so let me get my life together um, I'm gonna go to McDonald's what I want from McDonald's I don't know go ask Titi and get a shirt if you want to go So I think I'm just going to throw this hood on because <laughs> I need to fix this braid. Like it was so cute yesterday, 
but I slept on it. My bonnet came off and look at this. I don't know if you can even see that, but my real hair comes like here. Yeah, just about here. And so this is all poofing out and it's, ouch. And it's not as cute as it was. What's that? What did I just drop? Oh, was that a freaking Cheerio in there? I had a freaking Cheerio on my hood. But I think I'm gonna go, oh my God. <laughs> I'm breaking out again, look at that. <sighs> Whatever, anyway. So I'm just gonna put this hood on and wear this. My wallet is in a car, my purse is in the car. Where's the car key? Okay. Oh, right here. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> um, let me go see if they want anything from McDonald's and see if. Um, what's going on? Let's see if Amita has plans to go to McDonald's. Yeah. Nope. Uh, but I'm gonna go to McDonald's. Want some no. <laughs> some what? Um, want some chicken nuggets. Me too. This still nope. got a 40 piece, but I feel like um, you're not going. Get a 40 piece nugget. Huh? You're not going. Mama. I, oh, I stink. I need to get a shot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so gross. I'm grossing myself out right now. You're not going. Here, okay. You're not going. I am. You is? You're not going. You gotta stay here with me. You're not gonna stay here with TT. No. Where's it? Where's it? Go get your pink shoes. Go get your pink sandals. You better hurry up or I'm leaving you. No, you're not going. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's hot. Did you turn the air down? I didn't even touch it last night. Wait, is that all you wanted? Some chicken nuggets? Yeah. Um, what do you want from McDonald's? 10 piece chicken nugget with Ooh. honey mustard. You go put on some deodorant right now. <laughs> Why is everybody in this house thinking? <laughs> I have snake my best thing. <laughs> uh -uh, oh my God. Every time I walk in here, I'm just thinking I still got all this work to do up here too. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I gotta get ready for work. <laughs> My first day of work is Monday, and um, I'm not ready. So guess how long we've been sitting in the McDonald's drive-thru? Like, no lie, 20 minutes. Um, I finally just got to order my food. I just paid, but I mean, I guess it's fine. They have this little fair thing going on. So I'm sure it's just everybody walking over from there to get food. Cause I saw a bunch of people walking over here and they have a bunch of people like inside and stuff like that. So, yeah. Huh? We were in McDonald's. Yeah, we're going to get McDonald's eventually. Yeah. Dang it. I'm so mad right now. I meant to get fries. That sucks. <laughs> no. I shave my armpits when I have someone to entertain. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just losing my hair. Where my braid at? Yeah. Where my braid? Where my braid? Get my braid. <laughs> That's not even even with the line in the wall. Um, 
It don't need to be. I just need to get that over there because I want to move this around a little bit so I can play with it. All right, yeah, we'll push that this way. Ew. <laughs> no, that whatever it is smells like spaghetti, and I don't. I'm not it's in the mood. Meat lovers pizza. Ew. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for spaghetti. So the smell is throwing me off. Oh, you know. that. That mongolian pizza. Cheap again. Are defeated, purpose always fleeting. I poise questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come. Truth is too revealing, life is easier concealing. All emotions to the start on your heart going numb. I shouldn't be in drive more, I just want to feel alive more. I feel hurt all the time, boy. I can't see straight. I've been running on the freeway till I get blinded by the headlights.